So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to get better at Call of Duty Vanguard as a mouse and keyboard player. I'm gonna be giving you some essential tips and tricks on basically how to improve your KD, how to become more consistent, and how to alleviate those frustrating aim assist gunfights that you're always getting into, but you can't seem to win. So be sure to watch the whole video. There's gonna be a lot of tips and tricks in here especially if you're on mouse and keyboard because that's the primary the main input that i play on so first of all i want to say that you're probably on too high of a sensitivity now i know not everybody that is not able to play on a high sensitivity and everybody's not able to play on a low sensitivity but you probably are on too high of a sensitivity i come from a csgo background and i played on a really low sensitivity right now i am on 3.25 at 800 dpi 1.33 end game sensitivity try that sensitivity out because i think it's a really good sensitivity and i think it'll help you guys out a lot i know copying somebody else's sensitivity is not going to work but trust me a lot of the times when you're playing with uh, like really good players it's this this is going to help you out a lot so try that sensitivity out first of all second of all work on your centering basically i don't want you to think about aiming on the sensitivity i want you to think about focusing on your centering and do not push you want to be going into blitz it doesn't matter what uh game type you're playing it could be tdm it could be dom it could be kill confirmed basically what you're going to want to do is focus on smart rotations and what i mean by that is you're going to be going around and smart camping around the map. Now you're not technically camping, but you're holding a power position. You always want to have a piece of cover between you and the enemy or a place you can go to where you can get out of a gunfight. These maps in Vanguard are really good when it comes to like the different head glitches that you can be at and the different ways that you can go and maneuver around the map to make a gunfight in your favor. So you see in the gameplay, I am hardly moving. I am always by cover. And when I kill a bunch of people or if I die, I push up and I rotate around the map. I'm not always staying in one specific location, but I am rotating around the map, always having a piece of cover between me and the enemy. And trust me, guys, if you do this, you will have a lot of success in Call of Duty Vanguard or in whatever FPS shooter you are playing because you might think that oh i need to rush in to get a lot of kills guys i've been dropping 100 plus kill gameplays just by doing this playing blitz the reason why i say you play blitz is because a lot of the action is already coming to you people are running around just with mindlessly running around peeking you challenging you when you have the advantage if you know where they're spawning and you're already aiming down sights you have the advantage even if you're going up against a controller player or if vice versa if you're going up against a mouse and keyboard player if you're aiming down sight you already have the advantage and with the way skill based matchmaking works in this game you have a lot of people that are quote unquote really good at the game and have high kds but if they go against somebody that is playing with a play style like you are you are going to actually win now notice how i die here when i rush in i couldn't see that guy to the left that was really unfortunate, but that was me being over patient and just rushing in trying to get those two kills. I could have continued that streak without even trying to kill those guys. Like my teammates were all right there. I didn't have to worry about anything, but you see how I'm just playing super smart. I'm pushing around when I need to. I'm watching and I'm being aware of where my teammates are. This is what's going to help you out a lot. Using the tank as cover. I am the beauty about playing on mouse and keyboard is you do not need to rotate or move to have good aim. You don't need you don't rely on aim assist. You could stay still behind cover and still do really, really well. And this is how you're going to be able to become the best player you are on mouse and keyboard. And I know my most of my audience is on mouse and keyboard. So hopefully these tips are helping you out. You could use movement, but use movement to your advantage. If you're on the target, you can jump around and be able to just maneuver and become a better player just because you are already accurate, you are already really good at the game. Like I said, I highly suggest you guys try out the sensitivity. Just 
make it your own. This is a good starting point. It might be way too slow for you, but I highly encourage you to stick with it for a while, maybe like two or three days, okay? And you're gonna see how it's gonna force you to play a certain way. You might not have the mouse space and or the desk space, and you might have to raise it a little. All I'm saying is try to play at a sensitivity where you think it hinders you from doing a 180 onto somebody. For me, it was 3.25. And that is what really helped me become a smarter player. Eventually, I got used to the sensitivity and learned how to do a 180. But all the targets that are in front of me, I am highly, highly accurate. They are easy shots. They are not something I have to do a complete 180 chuck corners and do all that. I am literally having people run into my crosshair. Be patient. Let people run into your crosshair. Have the advantage at all times and you will have really, really high success in this game. It is that simple, it is that easy, and that is how I'm raising my KD. I'm going from a 1.6 KD player on mouse and keyboard up to a three, four KD player on mouse and keyboard, and it doesn't matter who I face. I am always able to drop these type of KDs, and I'm always able to drop high kill games. I'm at the top of the leaderboard on literally all the games that I play. I might not be able to win all the games if it's like an objective game mode and you have to realize that you are playing smart, you're going for kills. The win really doesn't matter. You're a selfish player. You are trying to get better. You are trying to slay out and get streaks for your team so that they could do better and get streaks and win the game for you. You are a slayer. You are not an objective player. You are playing to become a better player. Guys, I'm running out of time for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I know I say sensitivity is all personal preference, but I highly suggest you try out the sensitivity and see what you think about it. Because again, there's a reason why pro players play on lower sensitivities and there's a reason why they have a really good aim. The best of the best play like the best of the best and their sensitivities are usually all within the same ranges. I'm out of time, guys. Stay blessed, stay humble, and I hope to see and find that your KDs are raising and you found this video helpful. Share it with a friend, share it with your mom, your dad, whoever. Just hope it helps. Get as many eyeballs on this if you're a mouse keyboard player. Deuces.